emergency kit. In the last section, you learn how to complete your magnet and put it on the refrigerator. Now we will show you how to put an emergency kit together. Remember, think about what needs to go in your kit. Use your worksheet to guide you in what to put in your kit. Think about the basic items you will need. First, let's talk about what type of bag or container you will use. There are several options you can use. A plastic container, a rolling suitcase, a backpack, or a duffel bag. A rolling backpack or a duffel bag are fantastic and, and with a label with each person's name so there's no confusion of what items belong to each person. Choosing a container means that you must be able to carry it for three days with all your supplies in it. I put important things in my backpack and made sure they're light so I can move around with it. Next, decide the food, water, flashlight, and other supplies you may need. Remember, if you have any pets or service animals, please make sure you have food and other items for them. I'll make sure to grab our dogs and with their food and water. Personalize your kit with your name tag or other information that could help you identify your bag as the emergency kit. I will ensure that everybody has an emergency supply kit that's labeled with their names and that everybody knows what's in those kits and how to use the items in those kits. Place your worksheet, money, and your important documents into a plastic bag so they can be safe. And now what we want to make sure is that we always have our plan with us. So we're going to go ahead and put this in a Ziploc bag just in case water gets to it so somebody can read it in the event that we're not able to respond. And we're also going to need money. So we want to make sure we have some money in here for an emergency. We want to go ahead and put that in the duffel bag so that we always know where it is and in case you guys can respond or maybe I can respond, you're going to resource to it and you're going to make sure to tell people this is where it'll tell you what our medications are, you know, where we go to the doctor and what, what do we need, okay? So we're going to put this in here. Make sure you have batteries for all the equipment you need. Have personal items that are important to you, such as toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, eyeglasses in the kit. Choose foods that are easy to open and pack. Remember to keep a list of your medication information. When your kit is complete, Place it in your home where it is accessible and easy to take with you when you leave. Also, check your emergency kit each month for expired food. With your worksheet, magnet and kit in place, make sure you practice your evacuation plan. Know where you are going. Have closed-toed shoes in your kit for walking in dangerous areas and know where to find help. And in the case of living in a rural area where wildfires occur, we're gonna make sure that we have our emergency kit together and have evacuation routes planned. So in case we need to leave quickly, 
and efficiently we can do so and we can gather our kit we can gather the family and the animals and we can evacuate quickly and safely without uh, entering an area of danger at the end of this video please review your emergency kit list on your worksheet and the discussion questions and then click six community supports Thank you.